welcome over to Baby Name Monday. My name is SJ. I hope you are really, really well. Today's name list is going to give you a ton of boy name inspiration. So if you're struggling to find a name that you absolutely love for a baby boy you're going to have or you don't know what you're having, then stick around. There are some gorgeous, really sort of unranked names on this list, but all totally wearable and all with really beautiful meanings. Because I do think the meaning can sometimes take you from like to love and really land a name when you're really, really searching. Um, so if you are still searching for a baby name, then congratulations, do hit subscribe for new name lists here on my channel every single Monday. Um, you can also get tons of help and support from the community by writing your baby name dilemma in the comment section below. And if you're not naming a baby, then do go into the comment section and just have a look at what advice you can give to other mums and names that you love that they might love also. There's also the podcast, as you know, Baby Name Envy, the podcast, which is our consultancy, and the consultancy Baby Name Envy on Instagram, where you'll find tons of ideas, tons of ideas as well. <laughs> My Wiltshire accent came up with then. So let me get on with these boy names with the most beautiful meanings. So they're kind of from all over the place. Some of them are more gentle meanings. They're just sort of surprising meanings as well. So the first one is an Irish name. There's a couple of Irish boy names on this list. It's the name Connell. So you may have heard Connell from Ordinary People. Do you remember that show that went absolutely crazy? It's from a book actually, Connell. But I really like it. We love L sounds for our boys. It's not dissimilar to Oliver, which is the number one name. Connell, it's got so much going for it. I think a lot of us can say it now because of that Netflix show. And the meaning is strong wolf. And I think it's got that sort of romantic, outdoorsy, rugged meaning with what's quite a gentle and soft name. It's so lovely. Um, it's only ranked number 1869 here in the UK, um, but it's a beautiful name, really easy to pronounce from all over, Connell, Strong Wolf, that is super cute. The next name on my list is Hugo, which means heart. So not just heart as in love, it's kind of got this feeling of heart, mind and spirit, so it's a Germanic root, so it's a really soulful boy name, and I did do heart, mind and soul names as a full list, I love it, but I loved the name Hugo when I was pregnant with my third, ended up having a daughter that time round, um, but we really loved the name because it's got that sort of gentleness to it, I love that it's got a hug in the um, word as well, because I had this idea of the nickname being Huggy when they were little, and then Hugo, the fact that it meant this heart, mind and soul is quite um, endearing and warm for what is quite sometimes um, a sort of, almost a uh, it's almost a vintage name, isn't it? But it's kind of rising up through the charts at the moment. It's at number 48 here in the UK. So it's a good, solid name. Probably won't be like one of four Hugos in your class, um, but you'd have a few Hugos in the playground and that's a good spot to be in for so many of you guys. Um, the next name is the name Isaac. So isn't this such a nice name? You can spell it like this on screen and I had it on my boy name list. The Scandinavian way is I-S-A-K, I thought that would kind of be if we're living most of our time here in London or here in the UK, then saying it all the time, I-S-A-K, it's a bit annoying, but I do love that spelling as well. Isaac, and the name meaning is so cute because it means he will laugh. I've never heard such a gorgeous meaning, and that again was why it made it onto my list because I just absolutely loved it. It's at number 382 in the UK, I think it's actually even more popular over in the US. Um, it was kind of a biblical meaning because it was Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah in the Bible who'd wanted a baby for such 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 a long time they really wanted a son of their own and um, it talks about how much they longed for him so that they laughed when God told them that they would have their own son so it's kind of a nice joyful um, a meaningful name but a really lovely one again I think the double A makes it sort of super special written down as well the next thing is the name Thaddeus so I love this name, Thaddeus, I've just got it all written down here so I'm looking over there, um, and it means courageous heart, and it literally means kind of brave heart basically, Thaddeus. So I feel like with Theodore being so popular at the moment that Thaddeus could fit into so many of your tick boxes. The nickname Thad is quite sweet, so I know somebody who's called Thaddeus whose nickname is Thad, and it was really easy to say, everyone kind of got on with it, but it was kind of like a bit trendy as well, a bit like a Zach, but he was Thad, and it was just really, really nice, but everyone kind of knew he was Thaddeus. Um, really long, you know, it's a Greek name, but there were only nine baby boys named Thaddeus last year. What do you think of it? If Do you like long boy names? If you like Sebastian, if you like Theodore, Thaddeus isn't a humongous leap, but you're getting this beautiful meaning of this brave heart. 
um, for your little boy and this really, really cute nickname. Next one's almost polar opposite, it's named Lars. So really, really short, uh, which is very popular in Scandinavian and it means crowned with laurel. So literally like a laurel wreath around your head, um, which is very Scandinavian, but also very um, sort of um, ancient Greek as well, Lars. But I just think it's a really nice name. It's very soft with the L and the S being the strong one and very, very easy to say. So it might not have made it onto your list, but the actual um, translation of it, you know, this Latin strong sort of historical meaning if you've got Laura that you're looking to honour anywhere then Lars is a really nice one does it just sound super Scandi to you so it kind of does to me but maybe that's just because we spend a lot of our time over there but I really really do like it the next one oh my gosh this name came up I was googling these lists for so long and this next name means inspiration and to be inspired which I had no idea about and it's the name Bay spelt B-A-E. Sorry for that, it's being funny. The sun is like coming in and out of my window. Bay is one of my sister's absolute favorite names, Bay. Um, I've had it on a few name lists, but I just had never actually come across the meaning of this to be inspired. And I think that that is so nice. I think if you've loved Bodhi, um, but aren't sure if it's right for you, then Bay could creep in there. It's very naturey as well, like, um, coastal bay as well makes me think of but I really, really liked that bay b-a-e and the meaning of inspiration really suddenly shifted it into one that I do think I could put on my list whereas I was never really sure about it before to be honest but I know that you guys love it and I know my sister absolutely loves it the next one is almost like a virtue name and it's the name zenith so we like those Z sounds and those unusual high scrabble letters, as they call them in the baby naming world. There were only three babies called Zenith last year and it means highest point. So I think it's quite a cool name with Zen as a sort of nickname. Um, could be quite wearable, Zenith. Um, but I feel like rather than journey or something that's really obvious, Zenith is quite cool. It reminds me a bit, I really want to put Beaumont, which means beautiful mountain, but I've had Beaumont on so many lists. <laughs> Um, so other mountain names you could go with Zenith, which is to reach this highest point, so to reach the highest, happiest point of your life with having a little babe, so it could work for you. The next name is actually, um, it says in Spanish and Portuguese, but it's most used in Arabic, so you'll probably have different pronunciations around the world, but it's the name Almas, Almas, so I think it's really cute, it sounds a bit Harry Potter when I say it, like Albus. Um, and there's Almas, so again, it's the same as Alma, meaning soul, it comes from the same root, so it means soul, but also um, in Hungarian, it kind of was occupational name for an apple seller, which I think is really nice for some reason, um, like kind of nature to sell these apples, Almas, um, and then in Arabic, where it's most used as a name, um, it translates as diamond, so tons of meaning, so I was kind of down a little rabbit hole with it, and I just really liked it, Almas, I've never seen it on a list before, so I'm fascinated to know what you guys think of it, would you use it, because I know that I've been talking about Alma for quite a while, and how much I love it, um, and I feel like Alma, sometimes, when the feminine form is really booming, and this is an unranked male form, so a bit like um, August, August and Augustus, and those are starting to come up as well, I feel like it really is so trendy, and such beautiful meanings. The name Lennon, so it's spelled with an A-N like I have on screen, it's actually the Irish, and it translates as kind of sweetheart. Um, so they have a kind of a longer like um, word that's more of the sort of endearment of a little sweetheart, but then Lennon, spelled like this, translates as that as well. So it's quite nice. So then I looked at what would, it's totally unranked, whereas Lennon with the O-N is more seen elsewhere. So I was like, well, would it be annoying if it was constantly mispronounced? Um, but Lennon with the O-N is at 274 and also means love, lover, somebody you love. So I just think it's a really nice name. We think of it as John Lennon so strongly, I really do, as a surname as first name, but then I love the meaning of it. Like, who doesn't love like John Lennon and the Beatles? So it's kind of got a lot going for it, but with the A-N ending, it's really nice that it means sweetheart, um, and it's gender neutral, so we often see this on girl lists as well. The next name is a bit of a wild card, but see what you think of it, and it is the name Athens. 
So it's a place now, so don't think, what is that? Because, you know, we do love Florence and Sienna for our girls, and we've also kind of really like Roman for our boys, which I know is not a place name, but kind of got the Athens vibe to it. And I decided to really like the name Athens and its meanings. So it came up, it was really interesting, I got a bit bogged down by the history. So some people say it actually means to bloom or um, flowering, because that was the sort of root word, and that was what was going on in the city. But then most commonly it says it was named after a goddess Athena so I was thinking how again this sort of boy girl thing how Athena's getting quite popular now these goddess names whereas Athens like Atlas is really popular now Atlas funnily enough so Athens could be a little leap down um, but some people are saying the city was named after Athena and the myth goes that there was this unnamed city in her and is it poised poised person I can never say that one. Oh, poised I can't say it. Anyway, they had to both give something to the city and then the city would be named after them. And him being the water, he put his trident down and made salt water. Athena in legend put down an olive tree and she won. It was the first sort of olive tree. And she's the goddess of like wisdom and love. And then Athens was named after her. So some people don't know which way around it really came. Was she named after the city or was the city named after Athena? But two lovely meanings with the flowering and then this sort of god goddess vibe of wisdom and love so I really like it but I just think it sounds really trendy Athens and when you've got that sort of place that historical name meaning and um, as a top tip also for this list is to look at a place that means a lot to you um if you've got engaged somewhere or married somewhere or you always went somewhere as a child it's a really great way of finding a name that means so much and don't be afraid of these place names so Athens I really like just feel like it's quite a romantic type of place it was one of the first ever cities where humans were like recorded as well, where life was recorded. So just so much about it. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Next is the name Reuben. So I've always liked this as well. I've always liked Rue, and we had Rue on the girl list last week for R O U X. Um, but Reuben for a boy, I love it because it means behold a son. And I've always loved that meaning. It always like shocks me when I put it in because it's like just such a sort of a moment isn't it it's not just a meaning it's like a, a feeling like behold the sun like you're having a sun and that's such a special thing I just obsessed with my little boys um it's nothing better so yeah it's a beautiful name meaning Reuben and um, I could make you go actually that is really adorable next name is also um a long one it's named Jebediah so with the nickname Jeb so it's one of those um biblical names Jebediah I prefer it Jebediah, and I must have known somebody who pronounced it Jebediah, um, because I always say it that way, but I think biblically it's Jebediah, um, which is fine, it's Jeb, and I love the meaning of it because it means beloved friend, so I always think if you've got siblings, or you want to honour a sibling, then or even like a sibling, and it's very Jeremy vibes, don't be afraid of these more difficult names like Jebediah, because once you hear it you sort of get with it and I think it's very 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 cool and Jeb as a nickname because we've gone with Ezra that wasn't around for so long you know people would never heard it before um, and it's gone like bang through the chart so you could go brave and go with Jebediah and it's totally unranked at the moment the next name is really low down so there are only four boys named Zale last year isn't that a lovely name Zale and it means strength of the sea so I guess it comes from sail and sailing and the sails um, of a boat, but it's sail. I thought it was really nice. I love the meaning of the strength of the sea. If you lived near the coast or the ocean, it's just such a beautiful water name I've never seen before. Um, sail, and I really liked it. Or the name Kaylin. Kaylin. So this is Irish again. The Irish boys have beautiful meanings. I do have a whole Irish name list, uh, which means powerful warrior or victory of the people as well. Kaylin. I think again, it's just one of those really nice, a bit like um, Connell from earlier. I like that blend with the stronger K and then the softer L in it as well. Kaylin. I love the way it's written down. And I like the meaning of this victory of the people. It feels very um, current, it feels very like optimistic and hopeful for the future and our children um, changing the future is how I interpret that. Fletcher, I really like the name Fletcher and it means arrow maker, it's occupational name and I just think it is so lovely because you kind of understand that it means arrow maker as well um, or seller of arrows, I love the nickname Fletch. Um, and I just think it's a very cool one. It's kind of outdoorsy, it's a bit like a hunter, um, but with a nice meaning, so I'm veggie. <laughs> I 
can never get on board with naming my child Hunter even though I love the name. Um, whereas Fletcher, it's a bit of a swerve, even though I'm sure they just don't mean with those arrows that they were selling, but let's just swerve that. <laughs> and go with Fletcher as the name and there were only three boys named Larkin last year it's one I've always really really liked it's very um literary for me with Philip Larkin the poet um but it also means victory so it's got that same meaning so I was looking at sort of uplifting meanings and I feel like victory really is um you know victory of the people and we see it all the time now you know I feel like we're at the most um, peak activism <laughs> that I've seen in history um, so it's just lovely to kind of have this sort of victory of the people meaning if it will will really resonate with so many parents um, and Larkin's just a really cool one it's actually a variant of Lawrence which meant that so it's kind of got vintage vibes but it's so modern and so cool the very last one has two meanings and it's just so stunning and it's the name Rio short and sweet and kind of different from this list is interesting to me because it's the meaning that have linked them not the sort of theme of the words so all of it over the place but i love it um, and i love rio and it means river um, which is a lovely name meaning but it also in japanese means center and I quite liked that because either it's kind of like, I feel like obviously with a baby, it's the meaning of the centre of the world. And that's just such a gorgeous name meaning, Rio, meaning the centre of the universe. Um, but also it can be, you know, to centre yourself and to kind of stay calm. It could be quite a spiritual thing for you if you're into mindfulness and yoga and all of those things as well. Rio could speak to you on those levels. Um, so I really did like it. I thought it was perfect for this list. Beautiful name. Um, I hope you enjoyed those boy names. Let me know which one you like the most. If you're after more name lists, my full playlist is linked in the um, comment section below. And you can also find us over at the podcast where we're answering real people's dilemmas. Me and my sister, the podcast is back very, very soon. I don't know if it'll be this Sunday even. So keep an eye out on Baby Name Envy the Instagram for that announcement. Um, I've listened to the first episode and it's really, really good fun as always. Lots of um, laughs and things like that as well it's more entertaining as well so we can have a bit of a laugh with my sister um, and i will see you next monday hit subscribe if you haven't already share with a friend if you haven't already love you guys bye bye